Well, City Transport Branch is only a small branch, but it manages the whole transport program for the Gold Coast City Council, and that's a pretty big transport program. It's 20% of council's budget. I mean, transport systems are really important, and it is what shapes cities. We've all been to cities that have good and bad transport systems, and it's what makes them, at the end of the day, a world-class city. If you've got a good transport system, you've got a world-class city. So the Gold Coast population is growing fairly rapidly. It's about 40% growth in the next 20 years, and that's about 225,000 people. It's a lot of people not just to house, but to move around. On average, people are travelling about three and a half trips per head of population per day. So that's a reasonable amount of travelling, but there's a lot of issues with that. And probably the biggest one is that about 90% of those trips are by car and the rest of our modes, walking, cycling, public transport, are fairly low. So if one day a week we all said, well, let's try public transport, let's walk, let's ride, let's carpool with people who are essentially making the same trip every day, that will make a tangible difference to everybody. The transport vision for the future is all about lifestyle and it's about protecting the lifestyle that we've all come to the coast to enjoy. At the end of the day, we're delivering the future for the community, and it's a future that the community want. They've told us that through the first round of um, consultation that we've had on this transport strategy. What we have to do in the development of this transport strategy is continue to have that dialogue with the community as a whole, and with the special interest groups that represent you know, those areas of, of importance that particular community members are, are really concerned about, whether it be public transport, whether it be roads, whether it be active transport, everybody has a view. So we have to sit back, listen to those views, and take on as much as we possibly can in the development of this plan. It's a city changing project with the Gold Coast Rapid Transit or Light Rail project. Not only will it move people around in a system which is for the 21st century, it'll also give us the opportunity to build really strong land use transport outcomes out of this and so maximise the benefit of this world class transport system by being in the city, by having that development occur around that corridor. We have to build a transport system that's cost effective, that's cheap for the individual, that can get you to where you want to go, that doesn't get you stuck in congestion, and that may also be fun and good for you as well. My role as manager is to make sure that all of those elements work effectively to make sure that transport services and networks are planned well and that they're delivered efficiently, effectively, on time, on budget, I mean, we've come here to enjoy this beautiful lifestyle. We need to protect it and make sure it survives into the future. How we do that from a transport point of view is connecting people with places in the most sustainable way that we can.